In this specific video, you're going to learn how to get visitors to share your blog posts via social networks. Let's say, for example, that you have written a piece of content and your visitors have come to your blog or your WordPress site and they really, really enjoy the content and there's no like button. So in order to share it, they have to go through a long process to email their friends. So for people that want to share your content, you want to make it easier for them to do so. And in this case, in this specific video, we're going to be using a specific plugin called ShareBar, which will allow you to put some icons next to each and every post. That way people can share each individual post. So what you need to do at the WordPress dashboard is to go to the plugins section and click on add new. Now we're going to search for a plugin called share bar. Click on search plugins and it's at the top right here. If we click install now and click OK and we'll go through the process of activating the plugin and there we go at this point you'll need to go to the settings and you'll see a link for the share bar configuration settings on this page you will notice that you can configure the settings at the settings link however right below this page you'll notice that you have a list of the available buttons you have dig, you have tweet, Twitter tweets, you have Facebook likes, you have Facebook shares, you have Reddit, which is a social network, you have DZone, you have StumbleUpon, you have other stuff, and you have emails. Now, if you don't want a certain button, then you simply click on the delete button. So let's say, for example, that I want to have digs, tweets, Facebook likes, Facebook shares, I'll delete the buzz here, so I'm going to select this, and I'm going to delete DZone, and Yahoo, and Design Float, and this drop down menu, just click on this, and click on delete or disable. Now, if you were to go back to these buttons in the future, simply click on disable but if you want to go ahead and just delete them and you know you're not going to use them choose delete and click on update to make it show only these buttons now you will notice that there are big buttons and there are small buttons big buttons are going to show up on the vertical to the left of a post and the small buttons are going to show up horizontally under the post title and you have an option here if you want to add a button for example you don't see Google Plus here if you wanted to add a button you simply click on the add new button link and simply enter the name we can call it Google Plus and then you have here big button and small button so you want to get the JavaScript code from Google Plus for the big button and the small button so simply enter these two here click on add button and that's it and it will automatically add these buttons to your posts now let's go ahead and go to the settings link here and I'll walk you through step by step so these settings allow you to customize, let's say for example, that you only want to put share bar on posts or you only want to put it on pages. Now it really depends on your WordPress site and what are you're trying to achieve. If your site is primarily content and let's say you're using the post section for content and the pages 
for something else, then it's up to you whether or not you want to have the share bar show up on posts and pages. In this case, by default, both of them are selected. So we're going to leave it as it is. Under the display options, it says display horizontal share bar if the page is resized less than a certain amount of picks. And that certain amount of pixels are shown here. So if the share bar width is 65 pixels and the page is resized less than that, then And you can also disable the credit link. In other words, when people go to your page or post and they see the share bar plugin, they're going to see a link back to share bar, sort of like the powered by WordPress link. But of course, in this case, they ask you if you do disable it to consider donating. So in this case, we're going to uncheck it and you can donate if you choose to do so. And you can change the share bar position. Do you want it left of the post or do you want the right of the post? In this case, we'll leave it as left of the post. So it really depends on your theme and your layout and where you position things so that it does not get too cluttered. These two boxes are pertaining to whatever the share bar position. So if it's, we have chosen left, it says here the left offset is used when the position is to the left. So in other words, you will, if it's 20 pixels, it'll move it a little bit to the left or move it to the right a little bit. So we're going to leave it as it is. And here we have a area where you can enter the minimum width in pixels required to show the vertical share bar to the left of the post. Now currently the minimum width in pixels required to show the horizontal share bar is 600. So the horizontal goes this way and the vertical goes this way. Now you can do the same or you can also do less if you want to. And what that just means is when somebody resizes their browsers, how much can they do it and they see the vertical share bar. So you can play around with these settings. You can put it at 600, you can put it at 500 and so forth. Under this section, you can customize the share bar itself the share bar width, you can enter your Twitter username, and you can also change the share bar background color and the share bar border color. In this case, we're going to leave it blank, enter our Twitter username, and click on update settings. Now, at this point, we can go back to the live site and check it out. You don't need to do anything more than just changing the configuration settings and that's it. Now I'm at the live site. In order to see the share bar in action, you have to go to an individual post or page. So we're, let's go ahead and click on the Hello World post. And as you can see here, we have the share bar here. So anytime somebody reads the post and they're satisfied, they really like it, all they have to do is simply click on the dig, the tweet, the share, and they can email it and so forth. So now what you've done is you've made it very user friendly for people to share your content. And that's it.